Welcome to the 2024 Paris Supercross Mistake Breakdown from the likes of Jet Lawrence to Tom Vial to Joe Shimoto to Aranda. There's a lot to be seen in this video, but before I get started, make sure you hit the like button and let's get this sucker over a thousand likes just like yesterday's video. Make Supercross whoop super again. Love that comment. And that is actually a good segue because what did the track builders do? They were actually able to build such a massive whoop section which was around 10 whoops and the gap between them to where they could actually fit a steamroller in there and i love this idea because it packs them in so well that the riders can just be wfo and hit these suckers and not get them so cupped out that they get so sharp and in theory you could build even bigger whoops but these suckers you had to have in huge huge brass balls and like i don't know 10 foot dinglings to be able to hit these suckers because these were scary effing whoops as we see some of the mistakes from the best rider in the world jet lawrence that i'm going to show here and i do love part of the track being built with this wall jump here where riders could come around the corner in second gear or so pop over shift third or fourth they're probably more likely in third around the corner and then accelerate off and what this also enabled them to do is look at this first whoop it is a much smaller starter whoop where they don't have to enter wheeling into the first one they can jump off the first one and watch what jet does here is he's actually going to jump over the first whoop and that is going to create from his motorcycle being at like 30 degrees to then boom being level watch instantly as i go in slow motion here as he hits that with his rear shock now the bike is level and he's just going 69 or what was it from back to the future 88 miles an hour through these suckers and look at how he's just hitting the barely tip of them look at that on that one barely even touched it with his front wheel like he doesn't even need suspension or dampening or anything he could just have a hard tail right there because he's barely using the suspension at least on the front end because he's just barely tapping him and watch what happens at the end of the whoops here well he's getting set up for the corner and it just barely kicks him sideways on that third to last whoop and then it rebounds on him and is jumping the other direction and because he's going so fast he goes from a sudden stop and he's just got the strength to not end up into this net. That catch net was another, hey, good job, track builders. You know, Dirtworks, I love how everyone does this. I, I don't believe Dirtworks is, are the guys that are contracted over there in Paris. But I digress. Let's watch that in real time as he makes that mistake after I told you everything to watch out for. Look at the acceleration to the wheelie over the first one to just barely stay in on top of him to hitting the third to last one. And it kicks him sideways. Ooh. And what he also does in practice is freaking almost sends himself all the way back home to Australia early because watch this. He wheelies over the first one. Okay. Boom. And then he actually, boom, misses the second one. Look at that. Okay. We talked about him missing the first one, misses the first one, and that back wheel is supposed to get him back to just parallel. And he's going so fast that he misses that next one. So scary. So scary. This is a straightaway for this guy. But notice, he is on his toes so that he's got a couple inches in case that ass end kicks him. It's not going to kick him into where he pushes down on the rear brake or the shift levers. So he misses one, and that's where it gets bad. But notice, because he had that extra couple inches there, he's able to soak it up. Not to say that he's not just the exception to the rule that he's able to hold on to the sucker, but look, the next one, it kicks him funny, and he misses another one. So that's three whoops that he misses, and this realistically should have sent him over the bar. So whoever's the suspension guy at KYB, like give that guy a raise. Whoa, look at that, how he was able to, and he's just keeping it wide open. He's just, he's either going to crash harder or he's going to survive. So when in doubt, pin it. And look what he does. He ends up then getting his body positioning back center to that attack position in the amount of one whoop. He goes from endo 
to knock the wind out of yourself with the crossbar to then, oh, actually, you know, I've done this over 10,000 hours. So therefore, my body knows exactly what to do. I'm going to get right back into that attack position where my weight is over the back. Nice little squat. And he's able to then haul ass and basically wheel tap the next whoop that saves him. Boom, boom, boom. How did he do that? I don't know, but let's watch that in real time again. Or for the first time. All right, in a little bit more of a slow-mo. Oh, that's so, so scary to watch. So scary to watch. And we also see Aranda during Super Bowl where he was going to beat everybody as far as fast as qualifying. Look what he does here towards the end of the whoop section. Oh, there we go. There we go. Misses that one. So that, in turn, makes it to where the ass end falls down two or three inches farther because you need to hit every one to keep that parallel. If not, you're going back to that 30 degrees or so. And when they're this big and you're going that fast, you're going to get kicked. And he gets kicked. But look at him on the foot pegs. He is on that like arch of your foot where now it's going to push him forward and he's going to almost touch the shift lever and the rear brake where we saw Jet being on his toes, right? So he wasn't even close to the controls and therefore it is easier for Aranda to get kicked because of his foot placement. Boom, and now he's going to try to Slow down, whoa, and he can't slow down, and he is into the catch net. A little bit different than what happened to Jet Lawrence. And look at Tom Vial. He was also in the wall. And here, I will slow this down as well so that we can see this. Watch him as he accelerates off. Is he going to miss that first one? So here he goes. Yep, misses the first one. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, Yep, right here. Misses like the fourth to last one, maybe the third to last one. And that, again, kicks him. But notice, where is his feet compared to Aranda? He's more on his toes. So he's able to withstand that first kick, or it could have been much worse. Boom. And so he just has nowhere to go because of that. Boom. And goes right into the wall. Here, let's watch that again in real time. And I'll try to count. Miss. Miss. Oh, right there. Such scary whoops. But I want to see them in the 2025 Supercross Championship. And yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the mistakes video. But look at this. This is just sex appeal, basically. Look at what he does here with the whole shot device. How many times has he practiced that? Just and Jet had a flawless night both nights basically besides one simple race with a minute to go we've got alberto which is a lapper who's also racing right he's there and he needs to race as well but you've got a poor judgment call on the man that is freaking basically three levels above everybody because that was the line that was the line was to road race outside in and it's not like the lines came together. It was just Jet was going so much faster and didn't expect Alberto to be, unfortunately, that slow. And so Jet just runs into the back of him and slingshots him off the side of the track. Luckily, he takes a tough block with him, but the tough block could have been placed maybe two feet in front or a little bit lower on the berm to catch that impact. But it was really just a mistake of Jet just going too fast, if we can really say that. Not a, a matter of slow down to go fast. It's a matter of you're going too fast, that you're just running into other guys that are going their race pace, which is, again, incredible to think about that this guy is that effing fast. Here, Joe Shimoto, as he was catching Tom Vial, I believe in the second race of... Day one, was it? Or was it day two? I think it was day one where he ends up going down just 
pushing the front end, the dirt there was incredibly slick, dare I say glacier-like. <laughs> I make myself laugh, and, and I love it. But he pushes the front end, and notice that his inside knee gets caught on top of the motorcycle, and look at how it twists. That, to me, doesn't look fun, and thank God for the knee braces, because we could have seen a torn ACL, torn meniscus, something as he holds his knee, but he was able to get up and race the rest of the races. So that was good to see as well. And just in bonus, right? This wasn't really a mistake, just more so for me to just nerd out on the suspension here. Cooper Webb, notice how he is trying to defend against Jet Lawrence over what I believe should have been the finish line, but it wasn't. And notice how he's got his front wheel turned. And as he cases this jump, he lands and it just pops right back. Something that was just interesting for me to see because normally you don't land with the motorcycle not pointed forward. I get that he's trying to turn here, but this is just some of those pieces and parts of these factory motorcycles that just blow my mind that the motorcycles work so incredibly well because of, again, the thousands of hours testing these components and hats off to the test riders to have their 100, 200, 1,000 hours before even the factory guys get them because we know they put them through their paces. But that was just something that I thought that, ooh, that could have been incredibly bad. Here, we'll watch that in real time and you can see how fast that front wheel pops back. Well, that was this week as a mistake breakdown from the pros. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and notification icon. Till next time, keep it WFO. Ba -da 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 -da